This bit on exchanges and clearinghouses is sponsored by Examinator Online, the platform to go to for SFC exam practice questions. Exchanges and clearinghouses are covered at paper one in topics one and seven, topic one in summary and in topic seven in detail. And we cover material that's relevant to both topics. We start with the exchange controller which is defined in the Securities and Futures Ordinance as and is in fact Hong Kong Exchanges and Clearing Limited. This listed company was created in 2000 with the merger of the Stock Exchange and the Futures Exchange, which are referred to in the legislation as exchange companies. The trading systems that are used by these two companies are the Orion Trading Platform, for the Stock Exchange and Hong Kong Futures Automated Trading System HCATS with the platform Genium iNet for the Futures Exchange. We have three clearinghouses, Securities, Options and Futures and their full names as you can see Hong Kong Securities Clearing Company is the clearinghouse for Securities, Stock Exchange of Hong Kong Options Clearinghouse Limited, SEOC for Options and Hong Kong Futures Exchange Clearing Corporation for futures. Now, if we were trading securities, securities, the buy and sell would be matched on the Orion trading platform, and the match trade is passed on to CCAS, Central Clearing and Settlement System. If we're trading futures, futures, the buy and the sell are matched on HCATs, and the match trade is passed on to the Derivatives Clearing and Settlement System DCAS. Now, if we are trading options, options, traded options are technically securities. So they're traded on the stock exchange, but the trades are matched using HCATs, Hong Kong Futures Automated Trading System. Once we have a matched options trade, a buy and a sell, that matched trade is passed on to Derivatives Clearing and Settlement System. And once we have an option being exercised, the exercise instruction goes into DCAS, which generates the underlying trade in CCAS. So that's the big picture with the two exchange companies, the two trading systems, the three clearing houses, and the two clearing and settlement systems. Now we're going to look at the stock exchange and then the futures exchange with regard to those involved in trading and clearing. And all the terminology is important for the exam, one or two questions possibly. So we will start with the stock exchange and the Orion trading platform. Now, if clients want to buy, clients want to sell, then the brokers will enter the trades on the Orion trading platform. But for a broker to have direct access to the system, they must be exchange participants. And you become an exchange participant by being type one licensed and uh, applying and being accepted by the stock exchange as an exchange participant. There'll be an exchange participant for the buyer and exchange participant for the seller. Once their trades are matched, we have a match trade. It is passed on, as we said before, to the central clearing and settlement system operated by the securities clearing house. Now, for clearing to take place, we have to have a clearing participant for the buyer and the clearing participant for the seller. Who is a clearing participant must be an exchange participant that applies and is accepted as a clearing participant. Not all exchange participants are clearing participants. Now, a central role in this process is the clearinghouse, which is known as the central clearing counterparty, in this case, Hong Kong Securities Clearing Company. And the clearinghouse takes the buy from the seller and sells to the buyer. And so the two clearing participants do not interact. They go through the clearing house. And that process is known as novation and it guarantees settlement of the trade. So that's the stock exchange. Now let's look at the futures exchange and the trading of futures. 
we will have a futures exchange participant for the buyer, a futures exchange participant for the seller. Again, uh, there will be intermediaries. This time they will be type two licensed or registered with the SFC. Once we have a matched futures trade, it is passed on to the derivatives clearing and settlement system, DCAS operated by the futures clearing house. Now for the futures uh, trade to clear, we need a futures clearing participant for the buyer and a futures clearing participant for the seller. Again, they do not interact with each other. They go through the clearinghouse, this time the futures clearinghouse, acting as the central clearing counterparty, guaranteeing settlement where the clearinghouse sells to the buyer and buys from the seller. Again, that process is known as novation, such that the settlement is guaranteed. The third trade that we have, it's traded options. Now, traded options involves an options exchange participant for the buyer and an options exchange participant for the seller. Again, the trades are matched on HCATs, so be aware of that. Although traded options are technically securities and trade on the stock exchange, the system they use is HCATs on the Genium iNet platform. Once we have a matched options trade, it is again passed on to the derivatives clearing and settlement system, and it is cleared by the options clearing house acting as the central clearing counterparty with options clearing participant for the buyer, options clearing participant for the seller, who both interact with the clearing house, as we have seen in the other two examples, through the process of novation and again, the clearing of the options is guaranteed by the clearing house. Again, that is known as novation. There is one last step in this whole process and that is the exercise of the option. And as I said earlier, the exercise instruction goes into DCAS, Derivatives Clearing and Settlement System, which generates the underlying trade which is cleared through CCAS, Central Clearing and Settlement System. Now, the diagram you're looking at looks fairly complex, but if you go through it step by step, uh, there is a common pattern that emerges. Be aware of the role of the exchange participants and the clearing participants uh, and be aware of the different processes of the stock exchange and the futures exchange. Can you get question with all this terminology? Well, not all of it, but yes, questions have appeared picking off certain parts of the processes I've just gone through. And to practice possible questions, we recommend that you go to examinator online for paper one practice questions.